At the start of 2025, Kittle updated how their interface looks. And you can see here on the home page, this is different than you may have seen in previous videos that I've done about Kittle. So in this video, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of how this interface looks and works and where things are now located. So even if you're a Kittle expert, you may get some value out of this because things move from time to time. And it's important to know where you can find the most useful tools inside of Kittle. Let's jump in. Okay, let's take a look at the main page to start. And you're gonna notice here, you've got these templates sitting right dead set in the middle of your screen. These are trending templates, but you can see all the templates right over here under show all. It's the same thing here with your recent projects. I've got my recent projects listed at the top, but I can show all my projects over at the right. As I scroll on down, you're gonna see some tools and as I scroll over here to the right, you're gonna see I can show all the different tools. Now these things, the projects and the templates and the tools, they're also located over here on the left-hand side. And you'll notice next to projects and templates, there's two little arrows pointing to the right. If I click on projects and then I look at the down arrow key, I actually have a trash button. I can look at my trashed project. So if you delete something, it may still be there. Same thing here with the templates. When I click on templates, I can see if there's any bookmarked templates that I've got sitting here as well. So I'll show you how that works real quick. So if you'd like to bookmark a template, there's a little bookmark icon right here. So if you click it, you'll see it pops up at the bottom, save to bookmarks. And if you click it again, it'll say removed from bookmarks. So it's very easy to scroll through the templates and just quickly click bookmark, bookmark, bookmark. You can bookmark many different templates very quickly. Okay, let's talk next about creating a new project. So to create a new project, you're gonna go up here to the top right, you're gonna click this plus new project button. It's going to open a new window and you're gonna choose your artboard size. You've got these menus here at the top. So typically I go into the print on demand submenu here, this little print on demand tab, and I can pick a Merch by Amazon template or Printify. There's a bunch of different options here. I'm gonna leave it on Merch by Amazon and you'll see over on the right hand side, the width and the height are specified in PX and that stands for pixels. And so here you can see the unit is either gonna be inches, pixels, or millimeters. So you could do inches by the way, if that's what you like to do. I typically work in pixels and I typically work in 300 dots per inch. That's my resolution of my design. And when you're happy with all of this, you can click create. Okay, now you're in the screen where you've got your template sitting here. This is called your artboard and you can make your design. You can also move this around. You can actually resize this as well. And you'll notice when I resize it, it actually changes the width and the height. So you wanna make sure that you've got this set to whatever you want. If you need to reset this, you can also manually type it in. I'm gonna say my width is 4,500. And when I click enter, you'll see it changes the width. And now I'm gonna click 5,400 and that'll change the height. You may have seen this little paperclip icon over here on the right hand side, it's a lock and you can lock the proportion. So if I click that button and now it's locked, you'll see there's a link now. So if I change the width now to 4,500, you'll see the 5,400 pops up automatically and that's because I've locked in the aspect ratio. If you've zoomed in way too much or if you're way out of your element here, like let's pretend I've zoomed in here now to 100% and it's like, where's my template? What's going on? Click shift and one. That will reset this to a zoom to page ratio. Another way you can zoom this to fit is just simply click this right here. It says 15 and you can say fit to artboard and that will change this as well. So I'll just show you how that works real quick. If I've got this at 50%, for example, way too big, I don't know what I'm doing. Just simply click the 50% and say fit to artboard and you'll see that it zooms back now to the regular size. Now, whenever you're working in your design, if you click in your artboard, you're gonna see this little artboard window come up. You just hover over the different little graphics and it will show you what these all mean. So there's a quick export feature, for example. There's an add a new artboard feature. If I click that, this will add actually a second artboard. I'm gonna do shift and one, and now we can see I've got two artboard set up. You can actually rename an artboard as well. So I'm gonna click on this artboard here on the left and I'm gonna double click and you'll see Merch by Amazon t-shirt shows up. I can change this now to name this whatever I want. So I could do Zen Water Cooler 001 for example and I could do the same sort of thing on the second artboard. So that's kind of cool too. And if you wanna delete an artboard, just simply click it, hit the delete key and then you'll be back to basics on the one artboard. Shift one, that gets me back to the regular view. There's this thing here called Kittle Copilot. That's the first little linky thing here at that little submenu. By the way, if this menu disappears, it's because you're not in the artboard. So you'll see it's there's nothing there. You have to click on the artboard. Now your little menu is going to show up. So to utilize this Kittle Copilot, it's pretty easy to do. You just simply click the little star icon. And then if you're not sure what to type in, you can see here that there's different options. You can generate text, you can generate image, 
And when you click on it, you can see here it says add in template, add element, add texture, add background. The Kittle Copilot also works for individual elements as well. So if you click on the artboard at the top, you'll see Kittle Copilot comes up at the top for the whole artboard. But if you click on an individual element inside your artboard, you'll see the Kittle Copilot comes up right there. Sometimes it can be tough to change colors, especially if you have a very complex design. So if you click on your element, there's a little color palette that comes up right there. If I click on it, you'll see color palettes will come up here on the right. You can change your current color. So here I've got black text. I'm going to make it nice and big and I'm going to click on the color palette right there. And then here I can change the color palette. I could make it red, for example. So I'm changing the color of that one individual element. There's also palettes down below. So you can actually scroll. I'm just hovering over these different colors and you can see all the different colors that come up. It's pretty neat. There's some nice features on the left-hand side as well. You just wanna hover over these. I'm just gonna start at the bottom. There's a layers panel. If I click on it, you'll see that the layers now are sitting here. I can extract my layer that's got a background on it. So if you wanna add a layer, you need to add something into the layer. So here, for example, I'm gonna go over to images. I'm gonna add an image. And then now when I go to the layers panel at the bottom, I can see that inside my artboard, I have my illustration of my image. I can double click that and I can rename it, for example. And then I have the background image as well. You can't rename the background image, but you can toggle it on and off in terms of visibility. You can also lock the layer as well. So if you were monkeying around in here making changes and you kept clicking on this thing and it kept moving, you really wanted to lock it into place, just simply lock the layer. And now I can click on it all I want. Nothing's moving, I can't drag or move. If you're working in a template and you can't drag something, check the layer, it might be locked. If you unlock it, now you can move it around. So remember, the menus along the left-hand side, if you're not sure what they are, just hover over them and you'll see the names pop up. And there's a little menu here right at the top. If I click on the menu, there's a dark mode right here. And if I click on it, that can be nice if your eyes are hurting because maybe you have really large screens and this is a little bit darker, which is kind of nice. There's grid lines and rulers as well inside of Kittle. So you're going to go to this main menu, which is this little three buttons on the left-hand side. And you're going to go to view. You can see here I've got a grid and that grid I can change how this looks. I can change the grid settings. I can make it really small or a little bit larger depending on the size of my template. You can also turn on and off the grid very easily. You can also use these rulers and guides. Rulers and guides are kind of cool. So you'll see this ruler that shows up here on the left hand side and then also at the top. And You might be thinking, well, how is that going to help me if the template is down below? You just simply go up here to the top and you can drag down a ruler. Same thing here on the left. You'll see my cursor changes. I can drag over lines. And you can even drag over more than one line. So you can create your own guides, either horizontal or vertical. And that can be really helpful if you're working on something and trying to fine tune the location of it. When you're done with these, just simply drag them back up to the top and they'll disappear. You can also just click on it and you can hit the delete key and your guides will get removed as well. If you don't have Kittle, but you're thinking about getting it, I'll put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend Kittle. I use it a lot for print on demand. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. There's a ton of stuff to do in Kittle. Make sure to check out on the left-hand side your projects, your templates, and then your tools. I really like the tools features. These are really helpful. The background remover, for example, the image upscaler. There's a lot of useful stuff sitting inside of Kittle. So take some time and look through these menus and see what's available. If you have a question about Kittle, please do throw it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer it. And here's another video on how you can have some fun using Kittle.